Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. In this lesson, we will introduce how to add text and how to modify the text with Movie Spirit. Please pay attention to the red circle on the screen. The red circle you see on the screen is where my finger puts on. Okay, let's take this short video I just created as an example here. Firstly, tap the plus button in the middle and then select Add Text. A text template list will jump out here. You can select the template you like. I will just select the default template none as an example here. Then click Next to input the text. You can input any text you like here. Click down to complete the text input. As you can see, the text has been inserted into the video. Once the text has been added, it will go directly to the text editing mode. All the text editing features are listed in the middle of the screen here. Before we introduce the list feature one by one, we would like to highlight three important features firstly. The first one is you can move your finger across the screen to change the text location. The red circle you see on the screen is where my finger puts on. The second feature is you can resize the text size as you need. The resize button is also located in the middle feature list. We introduce it firstly here, that's because normally we need to set up the text size once it has been added. The next one we are going to introduce is about these six blue dots. Drag any of these six blue dots can be free to change the shape of the text. In case you don't like the deformation you just made, you can click the most right circle arrow logo to restore the original shape of the text. Okay, let me introduce all the text editing features one by one here. To enter into the text editing mode, just double tap on the text item. The first icon is the trash can icon. To delete the current editing text item, just tap on this icon. The text you are editing will be deleted directly. The second icon is for the text input. You can type whatever you want to show on your video. In case you want to display the text in different lines, please tap on the return button. Tap down to complete the input. You can revise the text size as you need here. The third icon is for the text template. In case you don't like the first template you selected at the beginning, then you can revise the text template here. There are many template options here. You can select the one you like. The next feature is about the duration of the text displayed. The default duration of each text is 4 seconds. In case you want to shorten or prolong the display time of the text, then you need to adjust the text duration time here. Ok, the next one we are going to introduce is very important. It's about this font icon. We can select the text font and revise the text color here. The first one is the font name. There are lots of font style options here. In case you want to use a font which is not in our list, you can download it to your computer and then tap this icon. Import font from computer. 
follow the instruction to import the font you like to your phone, then you can use it in our movie spirit. Okay, the next one is for the text alignment. In case your text input is a long sentence, then you can use this text alignment to make the adjustment as you like. Next two feature is about the letter space and the line space. You can revise the text as you need here. The next important feature here is you can revise the text color. Many users asked me this question before. Please be note that the color text can be revised here. Once more, you can also add an underline to the text here. There are many options here that you can select the one you like. The last one is you can add shadow to the text. Once you select a shadow type here, you can also revise the shadow color as you need. The next feature is resize. You can change the text size as you need. The next feature next to resize is rotate. You can rotate the text as you need here. Okay, let's go into the next one, motion pawn. Tap the plus button to add motion pawn. In total, there are three types of motion pawn you can add to the text. The first one can be used to zoom the text. And the second one is for the text rotation. And the last one is for the text transparency. Let me demonstrate the operation steps. Please pay attention to the recycle on the screen. As you can see, one motion pawn has been added here. And again, draw the timeline to the next text you want to add a motion pawn. And you can add another motion pawn here. Let's add one more motion point here. Now, as we can see, there are in total three motion points has been added. Let's see the output. To remove the motion point you just added, you just need to double tap on the motion point number. The motion point will be deleted directly. The next feature is about we can apply the transition effect to the text. There are many options here. You can select one for the in transition and one for the out transition.
The display time of the transition can also be addressed here. Okay, let's go into the next one, animation. This feature is very simple. Just select the animation effect you want to apply to the text. You can have a try and see which animation effect you like and you can apply it to your text. Okay, let's go into the next one, text stroke. Tap on the color field, you can revise the text stroke color as you like here. You can also adjust the text stroke width by dragging the white circle here. We can revise to different color to see the Final effect output. Okay, let's go into the next one, text background. Tap on this button, you can revise the text background color here. You can select any color you want to apply to the text background. I will randomly select the blue color as example here. Draw the white circle here, you will find the change. You can change the color as you need here. The width and the height and the corner of the background can also be revised as we need here. The background corner can be revised as we need here. The next one we are going to introduce is text border. Tap on the color field, you can revise the border color as you need here. You can draw the white circle to enlarge the border width here. Okay, the next one, opaque. You can find the difference by dragging the white circle here. The next icon is Gradual Opaque. The opaque feature we introduced previously is for the whole text, but the Gradual Opaque icon we are going to introduce here will only apply to the part of the text. You can find the difference here. To remove the opaque effect you just added, you can delete it from here. To duplicate a text, just tap on this duplicate icon. As you can see, the text has been duplicated here. Okay, the last four icons which can be used to move up and down for all the checks of the project. Okay, we have finished introducing all the text editing features we can make with our movie spirit. In case you want to learn more professional editing skills, you can refer to our advanced course, which we will release later. Thank you.